Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next type of winding that is the concentrated winding. We already have some discussion on distributed winding. In the distributed winding, the name itself, all the slots are distributed equally. So here, next winding is the concentrated winding. Okay. So here, concentrated winding means a simply a simple phenomena. All the phase, say, all the phases are connected in a single start. That means, so look at here. For example, this is a a machine which consisting of number of poles is two and slots. Now, slots are eighteen. I think this is three, three, six. So eighteen slots, and it is a three phase system generally. It is a three phase system. Yes. So here, for example, if we take three phase system, so number of slots per pole, slots per pole is nine. Slots per pole per phase equal to nine by three. So three. That means it is a three phase system. R sl R slot. Y slot, B slots. Generally, in the distributed winding, like this. But, but here only R phase having only one slot. Here we are not using three slots. Y phase having only one slot. B sl B phase having one slot. This is in case of distributed winding. But in this case, it is only one slot. For example, so if you have the R phase, R phase is like this. So our face and this is the R face and so we, I have to remove this because to in order to draw a diagram so right so first our face like this and it will start from this is the R and again we have at one slot only again we have the R face again we have the R face next next Third, third, third phase also only one slot. Just we arranged only one slot like this. So generally in the distributed winding, R phase consisting of the three slots. But in the concentrated winding, it is only one slot. It is only one slot. Okay, so simply we can tell that here the phase belt. What is the phase belt? Slots per pole per phase. That means one one phase. How many slots will occupies? Is the phase belt here? The phase belt is only one slot. Okay, phase spread. Phase spread means generally m into gamma. Here phase belt is one. So one into gamma, one into gamma. Gamma means slot angle. Gamma means slot angle. Okay, but the same thing. This is for concentrated winding. So if we are using the same thing for the distributed winding, if it is a distributed winding, distributed winding, then phase spread or phase belt is like this. M gamma. M gamma like that. So that is the thing on the if slot per pole for phase that is m equal to one is called concentrated winding. If slot per pole for phase is greater than or equal to two, two and more than two, then it is called the distributed winding. Okay. So we can divide the winding connections are two types. One is concentrated winding. That means one phase having only one slot. Distributed winding 
your phases are equally distributed that is the difference so here the next thing is distribution factor or belt factor or breadth factor or spread factor this is the same common factor for the all the things so this is represents with kd kd means d distributed k here it is the ratio of the emf induced when winding is distributed and the emf induced when winding is concentrated so it is the emf it is the ratio of the emfs one emf is distributed another one emf is concentrated so finally we can write kd equal the vector sum of induced emf by the arithmetic sum of induced emf so here we can write the kd is sin m gamma by 2 m sin gamma by 2 sin m means slot per pole slot per pole per face gamma means slot angle so slot per pole per face gamma means slot angle so this is for the fundamental this is for the fundamental if it is nth harmonic one means the fundamental fundamental means first first frequency if it is for the nth harmonic nth frequency then kd n equal to sin m n gamma by 2 m sin n gamma by 2 n gamma by 2 same thing here generally always kd value less than or equal 1 it may be 1 or it may be less than 1 okay right for concentrated winding if it is a concentrated winding if you are using the concentrated winding the fundamental distribution factor kd1 third harmonic distribution factor fifth harmonic distribution factor and nth harmonic distribution factor all are equal to one here all are equal to one here if but that means simply we can write kd is one for concentrated winding second kd value less than one when for distributed winding if we are using the distributed like this the kd1 value less than one and kd2 value less than one kd3 value less than one kd5 value less than one if it is a distribution factor that is the important thing here so this is about some points regarding the concentrated winding and the distribution fine here the most important thing is this is the most important thing that is the nth harmonic distribution factor value is the most important thing that is kd n equal to sin m n gamma by 2 m sin n gamma by 2 this is the equation this is the equation so we will do some analysis for this thing here distributed factor for 60 degrees if you are using the m gamma value is so if if m gamma equal to 60 degrees then kd 60 value generally kd n value sine sine 60 by 2 sine 60 by 2 and m we don't know m for 60 and sine gamma by 2 this is for 60 degrees if it is 120 degrees phase spread 120 degrees phase spread then sine this is 120 by 2 and slot per pole for 120 and sine gamma by 2 sine gamma by 2 so if you are doing kd 60 by kd 120 then what happened uh, we will write here so kd 60 is sin 60 by 2 means sin 30 sin 30 is the one thing and uh, m 60 into sin gamma by 2 and uh, sin 60 by m 120 into sin gamma by 2 so 
if you are doing the calculation we will get finally like this that is sine 30 by sine 60 sine 60 and uh, sine gamma by 2 both will be cancelled and uh, this is m120 by m60 m120 by m60 okay m means phase spread generally so we can write m120 is like this sin 30 by sin 60 you can write the 120 by 60 60 into 2 okay so finally we will get kd 60 by kd 120 equal so by doing the calculation we will get 1.15 value 1.15 value so distribution factor for 60 degrees phase spread to uh, distribution factor for 120 degrees phase spread equal 1.15 1.15 generally okay so phase spread is also one of the important factor to maintain the magnitude of the voltage Ma magnitude of the voltage right from this we can write the kva of the machine generally is proportional to the distribution factor and automatically kva output both are same that is proportional to the distribution factor and the phase winding is proportional to the distribution winding into phase turns phase turns okay so so these are the some points regarding the distribution factor okay i hope all of you understand the session Thank you.